Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We are back here in East Vineland, New Jersey, on Kubota Farm, letting the old Vermeer sit for a second. I've been doing a little bailing while you were away, I will admit. I almost... Oh, man. I almost got to a point where I kind of almost forgot to turn on the recording. Um, I was having so much fun. I'm not kidding. I love this baler. It is a joy to drive. An absolute joy to drive. A joy and a privilege, if I'm being honest. And I just noticed something. Uh, if I'm not sure how it's coming through on the recordings, do you all see those power lines up there? How jagged they are? Yeah, that's part of my testing I'm doing, and they look horrible from a distance. And that is because I am doing some graphics testing, and I turned off DLAA, which is an NVIDIA texturing thing that's supposed to get rid of jagged lines. I turned it off, and I went with TAA, and that is a mistake. Not sure if that's coming through on the video, but anyways, let's talk about something good. The Vermeer. Holy cow, this thing is wonderful. The detail on it is fantastic. I love just watching it work. The shock absorbers on the front, I'm mesmerized by those things. In cab, I'm just looking at those things. It's probably why I'm missing some of these wind rows. Um, but to my, I guess to an excuse, this wind row, like some of these wind rows I notice are tight. Like this one's kind of tight and clean. See how this one's kind of spread out? It's like every other one. Well, the Vermeer likes to miss a little bit. <clears throat> the Vermeer, because it's the Vermeer's fault, of course. Not the driver. Misses a little bit of grass on some of these, but we can go back and pick it up. Let's make sure we've got our... You can see down there, we've got our pickup lowered. <laughs> I love it. I actually just noticed how it's... It, it winds in, it, it winds clockwise, like kind of against the grass, which I guess makes a lot more sense than the other way. Scoops it up, puts it into the baler, and yeah, the belt's churning. It's nice and quiet and comfortable in here. Let's get to baling. Let's get to checking to make sure I'm doing the right size bales. Yes, I am. Thank you. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope your Monday went okay. I'm recording this a little bit early, so I'm not sure what mods have been released. We can turn on auto on load. That's so cool how those belts run through there. Yeah, I just, I love this Vermeer. I, I tell you what, if I'm bailing, I don't know if I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird, right? Because, I mean, it's a tract. I mean, you can bail with a tractor, so you're still in a similar cab and everything. But um, being able to be kind of sitting on top of the bailing or the pickup head and just kind of being all in one is certainly advan uh, advantageous and the zero turn stuff is also uh, really really nice look at those shock absorbers just just a working I get looking at those things and I get off off the uh, off the wind row a bit but uh, so much fun I just love this thing yeah see I miss a little bit on these on these wind rows that aren't quite as tight and needy, are tight and needy, <laughs> yeah, they're very needy. But not very tight, you know, the tidy ones. I do have a tendency to miss a touch, but we'll either go back and get it if it's enough or not worry about it. These contracts definitely leave some room, margin of error, let's just say, for completion. So I thought, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> boy, wow, frog in the throat, eating ice cream before I made the video. Um, thought I'd talk a little bit about another video I made recently. If you haven't watched it, that's cool. 
you know, no bad feelings. If you want to check it out, <clears throat> it's in my miscellaneous playlist. I did a little test on mixed bales. I wanted to find out <clears throat> how the game dealt with, or how the game is dealing with, when you are baling, let's say, grass, or let's say, no, let's say you're baling hay, and you run over some grass because you missed it with the tether. How does the game deal with mixed products going into the baler? And it was by far a non-scientific uh, test, but I think it got the job done, I think. And bottom line, kind of what I found out was the game is going to, at the end of the bale, so when the bale spits out of the baler, at the bottom line is whatever has the, whatever is the most inside that baler. So you could bale 49%, 49.5% grass turn around and bale 50 and a half percent or 51 percent hay and you're going to get a hay bale and that's kind of where I ended up with my with my testing I at first I thought at first I thought the game would allow you so much to a point and then you were just stuck with that bail type. So let's say if you went over I mean it does, but differently though. Like let's say you went over 20% grass. If you went over 20% grass you're going to get a grass bail, but that's not how it works. And what's interesting is I actually went and put in 25% grass and then I put in another like 25% or 25% hay. I mean, I mixed and matched. I went back and forth between hay and grass. But at the end of the bale, it was whichever one had slightly more product in it. And I thought that was kind of interesting. The game, the game does... So the game actually keeps track of... So if we had a wind row of grass and then the next wind row was hay, the game actually is going to keep track of what you're putting in that bale. I mean, you could alternate 20 times if you wanted to, but at the end of the bale, whichever of those two products leader wise is greater, that's the bale you're going to get. And I don't know that it was always like that. I, I guess I never, I never tested. I don't ever remember testing it before. It always seemed to me like, Maybe it has always been like that, you know. I, I don't know. The most I ever did was, like, if I had... If I was baling straw, for instance, and I ended up with um, a 30% bale uh, done, you know, but you can't eject it, let's say. <clears throat> and then... So you set it aside to the next time that you're baling. And I didn't want separate balers, so let's say next time I was going to do grass, so I had 30% straw in there already. I would just take that baler over and just start baling grass. And it seems like it very, it seems like it used to convert it immediately. Like as soon as it touched grass, I feel like I remember it converting it immediately to grass. And even if I was at 98% straw, if I went over and ran over some grass, it switched it to grass. But it seems like it's a little bit more sophisticated now. And the game is actually paying attention to quantities. Because I filled one up, I think in my test, I had one filled up like that. And I finished it off with a different product than what was in there. And it didn't switch it. It left it at the original product because the original product had already been over 50%. So it's kind of like whatever, you know, whether it be grass, hay, straw, 
I even, I suppose he would even do, well, use a different baler for Poplar, so that wouldn't be involved in it. But, yeah, it it didn't seem to care what order. It just cared how much. Which I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, it answered those questions for me because I'd, I'd been thinking about that. And, and it kind of ended up being a little bit like, is you know, is this kind of a cheat? And it is kind of a cheat because it's a lot of work for a cheat. I wouldn't bother with it because there's just not enough money uh, really involved in it. I guess, I guess if you were particularly energetic, the most money out of a bale you're going to get is silage, right? Is fermenting grass, is grass bale, wrap it, ferment it, sell it. That's the most money you're going to get between straw, hay, and grass. Grass to silage is the bomb. Now, <clears throat> let's say if you were particularly industrious, you could go over and have a big field of hay and start baling hay, get to about 49%, run over to a field where you've got a bunch of grass, finish off the bales, with 51% grass, wrap them to make silage. You could te theoretically, I suppose even technically, double your production that way, almost. I'm just thinking this through, like, then my mind goes to, well, why in the world would I even bother tedding an entire field of grass into hay only to bale it that way? I guess it would only pay off if you decided you, if you'd already done it and you decided you didn't want it, you didn't want any more hay. So I suppose in that situation, it might be beneficial. So I guess if you had two fields of grass, one of them you tatted, the other you didn't, and then all of a sudden you thought, you know what? I didn't want to make all this hay. And you still had grass left over on the other field? Yeah. I mean, you could just go around, do 49% full bales of hay, go over to your grass field, put 51% grass in there, and you're getting rid of your hay that way, and uh, I suppose you could do it that way. I've always liked, I've always enjoyed seeing YouTubers that do like kind of those kind of tests, like different kind of tests on Farming Simulator, like really testing the game, checking it out to see kind of under the hood kind of stuff like I think driver 53 I don't know if you've ever watched his channel or not um, and nothing against driver 53 I honestly didn't really care for his content at first it just didn't really you know I mean everybody's got their own style and everything and I it just didn't really work for me it, I, it wasn't I didn't have anything against the guy it was just not my cup of tea but he grew on me after a few things, after watching him a bit. Um, he kind of grew on me. And he did these, he did a few of them where he was jumping on random servers, multiplayer servers, and just checking out random multiplayer servers to help people or join in with them and stuff like that. And I thought it was actually kind of fun to watch him do that. It was kind of funny. He's got a pretty good sense of humor. Um, but he does, he on occasion will do tests on Farming Simulator that I really enjoy. Um, he's a console player, so he is always looking for ways to get advantages on consoles that PC gamers oftentimes take for granted. So if you're a console player and you haven't checked out Driver 53, you might want to. Um, I, don't in, I don't get into that style of gameplay as much though, the fast farming. I know DJ Goham does fast farming. I think Driver53 does fast farming. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. Uh, I, I just, it's just not my cup of tea. I just don't like watching 
combines going 26 miles an hour, 27 miles an hour. Um, it's just not for me. It kind of, it kind of. I mean, we. I think we can all agree that this is not, in the purest sense, a simulator. Because there are things about this game that <clears throat> just break that realism mold. I think that the game does an amazing job for what it is and for helping people get a feel for farming. Don't get me wrong, but I, but I think it's fair to say that this is a game more than it is a simulator in many ways. However, I try to allow myself to be immersed in the simulation parts of it and if I'm watching somebody play and they're being unrealistic I get it that breaks it for me and that kind of makes it then watching a video game if that makes sense and it's not good or bad it's just different it's just different you know Everybody, and that's probably one of my top three things about this game that I love is how many different ways you can play Farming Simulator and enjoy it. And it really, it's disappointing when I read on the forums how people make fun of or discredit other people's ways of playing the game because why is my way right and your way wrong you know what I'm saying it's not you know this is my way of playing it maybe you share that with me and maybe you don't but that's fine you know if if you you know I, I see people playing where they're using these you know 50, 75 meter wide cultivators and harvesters and stuff and I look at that and just go yeah that's just not my cup of tea but for other people it's you know it's volume it's they're, they're, they enjoy the volume they enjoy the big money or the bringing in or they, they just don't have the patience to want to deal with spending you know two hours on a field that's fine that's your prerogative. That's what's cool about the game. You don't even have to farm if you don't want to. <clears throat> go log. You know, go go do logging. If you don't want to log, you don't want to farm, that's fine too. Do role play. Get terra farm and build roads. You know, dig in the ground. Go for gold. That's cool. I think it's great. I think all these things is what keeps this game and this so popular on Steam sales wise and what keeps it popular on YouTube and what just keeps the momentum going on Farming Simulator and I think it's fantastic and um, <clears throat> one of my subscribers not going to mention their name even though they have left comments um, I just don't want to mention a name if makes them uncomfortable but very very super nice person leaving very nice comments uh, has a YouTube channel themselves been checking out uh, their content I guess I can say his content because I've watched his channel and it's a dude I'm assuming sorry if you're if you're not but if you're not a dude you've got an amazing female voice <laughs> but no you're you gotta be a dude um, where was I going with this oh They, yeah, I figured where I was going with it now. Wow, I totally lost, lost my train of thought because I started thinking about women with really deep voices. That's really weird. But, you know, every, everybody plays differently. And, uh, and, I, and, and I, think that's, I think that's cool. And I think it, you know, and I think that's what, uh, you know, it just keeps... Oh, I know where I was going with this. I know exactly where I was going with that. So the other day I was looking on his channel was going to watch some more content and I saw that he had a video out on the new Flintstones car. The Flintstones car was in the thumbnail and 
I haven't had a chance to watch it. I apologize. I, w I am going to watch it actually tonight. But I looked at that and I went, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about with Farming Simulator. That's what makes this game cool. And I'm actually glad. I'm on the side. And I know this has been a bit of a debate. Um, this with this at with this version of farming simulator giants is allowing a lot of different things into the in-game mod hub that they didn't used to allow and that flintstones car i believe is one thing that we would not have seen in the giants mod hub before you would have had to have gotten it on a website on a modding modding website which meant console players were out of luck. Which is too bad, you know, because they should... I, I like to see console players have... If In a perfect world, they would have everything that PC players could have as far as mods go. And I mean, I totally understand why they don't have access to scripting mods. I understand it. I don't know if I totally agree with it, but, you know, Sony and Microsoft, along with other uh, console manufacturers, you know, are trying to protect their users. I think there are other ways that they can go about protecting their users equally as well and still allow I'm assuming that's why they don't allow scripting mods is because scripting mods can be very dangerous if they are done maliciously I don't know what other reason there would be for not allowing them other than security reasons because maybe I know console manufacturers are very very protective about the stability of their consoles and that's the big thing with consoles over PCs with consoles it's the same hardware the same software it's cookie cutter so you know when you're getting a console regardless of the manufacturer unless it's defective or the console manufacturer puts out a bad version of their software or there you know there's some software issue you're getting a very very cookie cutter product a very very so your buddy's ps5 your buddy's xbox is the same as yours your the performance your experience is going to be the same across the board everybody so i can expect when i go buy an xbox series x i can go online i can look at the performance and i know exactly what i'm getting you know i'm not going to go out and get an xbox series x take it home and it's going to have lower frame rates and different things unless there's something wrong with it I, I'll know exactly what I'm getting but with a PC there's so many variables that you have to deal with plus the operating system is a lot heavier and bloated on a PC unfortunately it should not be but that's the direction Microsoft seems to be going lately is a heavier OS instead of a lighter OS which is a shame I want my operating system I think Linus the guy that invented or came up with Linux some people call him Linus I believe the proper pronunciation is Linus but that could be a proper American pronunciation is probably what it is but he said something once, and I really, really liked it. He said, the operating system should get out of the way. It should be in the background. It should be the basis for running and doing all the things you want to do. But it should never get in the way. It should never be bigger than the applications and the games and the things you're wanting to do. It should just be there. Just be there because it has to be and I really liked that and I look at Windows and that's not fundamentally Windows unfortunately Windows wants to you know Windows is is not that let's just leave it there 
I feel like Mac OS is better at that, and I feel like it used to be better at that. I think it's also headed down a bit of a bloat path. I don't think it's quite as bad as Windows. I think it could get away with a little bit more bloat because it's a, it's a Unix-based operating system. So fundamentally, it its core structure, the one big thing that Macs don't have that Windows has is the registry. That stinking registry and DLL files that are just, oh man. Anyway, that's another conversation maybe some other day on Farming Simulator Tech Time with Brad, with Brad. but uh, yeah I love this Vermeer I do and see I, I'm so comfortable on this thing and it's so easy to operate I can actually talk and drive at the same time it's almost a miracle but at the end of the day I'm just glad that things are a little more open with Farming Simulator I, I'm on the side of let things go in the store. You don't have to download them. If you don't like them, or if you think that they're stupid, or if, you know, lightsabers, if you think those are stupid, if you think the Flintstones car is stupid, just don't download it. It's all good. You know, it's all good. But there's other people that might like it. I'm going to download the Flintstones car because it's the Flintstones car. I mean, come on. I'll never use it, I don't think, in a game. I think it's hilarious when I first saw it. I mean, I just laughed. I thought it was awesome. You know? I wish there was... I wish they would have included, like, the full Flintstones outfit. You know? So that you can... Dress your character in the old Barney... You know? Outfit. And have bare feet and actually see the little farmer's feet, you know? <laughs> running underneath the car. <laughs> <laughs> to get the car going. I think it's hilarious. Why not, you know? There's a there's a lot of YouTube content, too, that has nothing to do with Farmer, you know? There's a couple... Well, there's one channel, I think... What is it? The Crew? Is it The Crew? I think. And they don't farm. I don't think I've ever seen them farm. If they do, it's very, very rare. They mostly just do things that are, like, construction things, or they make car dealerships, or they do role play with police and things like that and, you know not always my cup of tea but at the same time I'm glad that it's you know and you know what and if that gets somebody's attention to go out and buy the game and maybe get them into farming simulator and eventually get them into the farming part of it I'm all for it. That's great. Easily for me, easily, Farming Simulator is by a long shot the only reason I have learned what I have learned about farming. There's zero question about that. You know, whether it's been actual um, learning from the game itself or from the game inspiring me to go learn on my own more either on the web or through watching farmers on YouTube um, yeah but by a long shot uh, if it weren't for farming simulator I would have very little knowledge excuse me I had to cough a little bit I would have I would have very little knowledge about farming um, and I think that if that and I'm certainly can't be the only person you know that that feels that way and uh, I started playing it I think mostly because I saw um, this dude on YouTube playing it and he was having so much fun learning how to play the game I just thought yeah that's kind of up my alley because I think I was just looking for a game that wasn't stressful, that wasn't, you know, shoot or be shot, you know, or, or you know, there's something that I could actually play with 
um, in a relaxing way, you know. Maybe listen to some music while I'm playing and just kind of enjoy myself like that. Am I picking up grass? That's a tire mark. Let's pick up some grass if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do this. Let's actually. I think we might be able to. We might be able to get another bale because I see a couple rows here where I missed. Um. I don't know though. I always think I'm gonna finish off a bale, but it seems like it always looks like it's more than it really is. Oh, sorry, Mr. Bale. Sorry. Actually, sorry, Mr. Vermeer. The bale doesn't care, right? Bale's like, yeah, I don't care if you hit me. We'll grab a couple more strips. We're not even, well, we're just about 50%. I don't think there's, if I'm being honest, I, uh, man, it looks like there is, but I don't know. We can try. Why not, right? I mean, this pretty much gives, pretty much puts us at it over two-thirds done because the rest of it is, oh, actually, no, we have to wrap, don't we? Yeah, that's right. We still have all the wrapping to do. And then, of course, delivery. I tried Terra Farm. For a oh, I guess I probably played played it for about an hour um, on on um, I think it was Elk Mountain. I loaded the Terraform mo Terra Farm mod and just to mess with it, you know, I went to the to the mining area and started doing some stuff and. I get it, you know, I get why some people would really, really enjoy that. I found it to be kind of clunky. For me personally, I guess, if I wanted to do that, I'd probably try and find a game that's designed for doing that kind of stuff. Maybe like Construction Simulator or, I don't know, there's, there's got to be other games out there that are sp very specifically designed for doing that kind of gameplay but I will say though for uh, for it being farming simulator it was better than I expected that's for sure and I think it has gotten better because I think the equipment uh, has improved from what I understand and I've seen some youtubers uh, using the terra farm mod and I was kind of imp I was kind of impressed I'm like wow well, you know that's not that's actually not too bad I think the biggest thing I noticed was if I remember right you're, you you don't really dig holes or does it dig holes or does it just kind of pick up you know, bucketfuls of dirt and kind of just, I don't know. It seemed kind of weird in that regard, uh, but I've seen some pretty cool things done with it. I, I saw, uh, I think it was Artie Allen is doing uh, terra farming right now on on uh, Elk Mountain, um, and he's doing uh, gold mining and stuff, and he's done some pretty cool things with it. He built a pretty extensive mining road, which I thought was kind of neat. was a kind of a cool idea. Eighty-seven percent. We just might, might get there. Oh, it's gonna do this thing. Yeah, this is the this is the part where it gets kind of eh because I've got the um, <clears throat> I've got the round bale. Uh, what's it called? The round bale. Um, 
Oops, sorry guys. Wrong button. The round bale extension, I think it's called, where, um, you know, it slows down the... It slows down the baler and automatically stops it when the bale is full. So I'm just going to lift up the pickup head. And we can lower the pickup head when we get close to the grass we want to pick up. So we're not chugging along at five miles an hour. But I do really like this round bale extension mod because it just saves the hassle. Now, why did I just skip over that? It saves the hassle of having to slow, you know, you slow down in order to pick at towards your towards the hundred percent, and then I always pass it, and I got to back up, and blah blah blah. So it's kind of nice that it just automatically stops you. I should look at that mod one day and see if you can adjust when it slows down. And instead of it slowing down at like 95%, maybe make it slow down at like 97 or 98% instead. Actually, it started slowing down at around 92 or 90%, didn't it? Oh, look what we've got right there. No, oh, see, don't do, no, don't auto... No, don't, no, 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 don't do that. We're just gonna shift a little bit. Let's see if we can. I think it's getting a little bit nitpicky now. Let's go see if we can find a, a better row. I think we might have gotten close, but maybe, maybe not, you know, like this little bit here is nothing. We actually need like a, a sizable, amount to finish this off. It still needs 6%. And I'm not seeing 6% here because these little drops here and there aren't going to do it. Aren't going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I should not do imitations. It's quite bad. I think that's actually it. We came close. Maybe it was worth doing. Giving it a shot. I should know better by now that you know that when you're that close like this is the most I've seen right here and that's and that's not gonna give us much here I'll move this thing out we'll grab this little bit and we'll call it good let me lower the pickup so we don't miss it and that got us to 94% I don't think we can empty this baler. I think round bales. Yep. That's all right. That's all right. We did good. I think we definitely have enough bales to wrap and sell to complete the contract. And if I remember correctly, last time we did a decent sized contract like this, we made out pretty good on the extra, um, on the extra bales we sold to yeah I see it I see it I just don't think it's worth it but you know what I see it 95% so close so close so far away all right that'll do it for this episode of Kubota farm I guess uh, I really do appreciate y'all joining me. I hope you uh, really don't mind the all the jabber tech talk and stuff and whatnot. But I'd hate to just have you sitting there watching me go up and down the row doing bales in silence. So next time we're together, this bad boy is going to come out and we'll do some wrapping. Get the Cavernland going. Cavernland style. I wonder where Cavernland's from. I'm going to check on that. Nice little wrapper. And we got our pickup. 
bail pick up, so we'll be able to get that thing going here pretty soon as well. So thank you all again for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I will see you Wednesday. Same bat time, same bat channel. You guys all take care of yourselves. Make sure and take care of each other. Until then, I'll see you soon.